Auto tune in Garage Band can certainly do some extreme effects. But did you know you can also use it when you sing a wrong note? It's really cool. Let's go. Yes, welcome back to the 5-Minute Tip Series here in GarageBand. Today we're talking about pitch control, often called auto-tune. Want to learn more about creating in GarageBand? Check out the other videos linked in the description. Pitch control or enhanced tuning doesn't work like other plugins. You can't actually add it directly to your track here in the plugins and EQ section. It's not available. So how do we add pitch control? What we need to do is actually add a new track. So tap on the plus button here and under audio recorder, go to more sounds. Now, under the vocals, you'll notice that we've got lead vocals, radio ready, punchy presence, and a bunch of others. The main ones that have the pitch control are lead vocals and radio ready. So you do need to start with one of those presets if you want to use this auto tuning function. Now, all you need to do is record in your vocal performance. This is a test to show how pitch control can work. And now we can play back our audio. This is a test to show how pitch control can work. Now by default, there's only a small amount of pitch control added. To turn this up, we simply take this dial and turn it all the way up. Let's take a listen now. This is a test to show how pitch control can work. Now an important tip here, when you're recording your vocals, turn pitch control completely off. I actually did it wrong there when I did this example. You don't want any pitch control while you're recording because it will add some latency, lag, delay, whatever you call it, it's not good it's going to make your recording a lot harder. You can record in and then turn it on after you've recorded. Let's go back now to the demo I recorded previously and take a look at this vocal. We'll select the vocal and tap on the microphone icon and you can see here we've got some pitch control. Once again, let's turn this all the way up. Auto tune in garage band can certainly do some extreme effects. And you can hear there that when you've got it turned up, it is going to shift almost every note and get that very unnatural sound. However, the cool thing about this is if you dial in just a little pitch control, if like me, you just get a bit pitchy every now and then, it can actually help you hit those notes. Let's take a listen. Auto tune in garage band can certainly do some extreme effects. So it's actually not changing the sound very much and it's sounding more natural because the changes it's making are very subtle. What if you already have some audio recorded that doesn't have pitch control on there? Well, no problem. We can just change it by tapping here on the microphone icon, tapping in the middle and changing this to say lead vocals, it's then going to add in the pitch control here. You can then adjust the rest of your plugins and EQ by tapping plugins and changing them here. So you can mix and match, but as soon as you remove that enhanced tuning, your pitch control goes away and you can't add it back in. So you will need to go back and go to one of the presets to get it back. One final pro tip, if you don't want pitch control over your whole track, you can actually split it and add it just to some. So if I take this particular track, I'm going to tap there and hit duplicate right here on the icon. I'm then going to tap copy and paste this, tap paste down to here. We've now got two copies of this vocal. What I can now do is split this out. So say only this last word I wanted to tune. Well, we can do that. We can go into our microphone here and turn pitch control on. So we'll turn it up to you know, extreme or whatever we want for that one. And then on our other track, we can actually completely remove pitch control. So this is great if you've got a project where you don't want pitch control for most of the vocal, but there's just a word or two that's not quite right. Let's take a listen. So we'll come back, we'll just remove that last word from our first track and let's give it a play. It's really cool, let's go. So you can hear there that it's just put the pitch control on that last one, and I wouldn't even put it that much. I'd turn it back down just so it's got that very subtle change, and it's just going to correct those bung notes and make your vocal performances a little better. There you have it, auto-tune here in GarageBand. I hope you found this one useful. If you'd like to learn more about using GarageBand, check out the other videos in the description. I'll see you next time.